Welcome to story time at 9. Today we're doing a story about Tabanka. Hmm. There's Lasana Batiste. That's my boy Rayon there. Before we get into the story, just to tell a little bit about what we do. We are a company named mm-hmm. um, Podbake Productions. We do book publishing and we've been doing it since 2008. And we have some books on the market. The ones, you might know my testicles, boy days. There's a something called 90 Days of Violence, and then Men and Misfits. This, you know, these live videos started as a, a, a hope or a, in an attempt to win a, a voting competition that the Bocas Lit Fest has. And, um, but it's kind of evolved now eh, but into realizing the potential that this uh, has for us. So if you are interested, you can go and vote for Men and Misfits, which is up for People's Choice Award. On www.podbeak.com. Hi, Joe, Stephen. Hey, Sarita, Alia. How y'all going? Nice to see y'all. So, the uh, story called Tabanka is a story that's inside our boy days. And what a lot of people probably don't know is that my brother, Lasana Batiste, wrote that story. So, before you get into the story, I don't know if you want to say anything about it or you rather we do the story and then talk so, about um, it. Well, just to get people are alerts because we need for some more people to lock on like oh yeah remember to like and share this yeah. um video so we can reach more people right so we won't get into the story just yet right but um the story is about people handling tabanka in the wrong way right love triangles going sour right so this this tabanka wasn't handled in the correct way this by, fiction, the yes, story it, yeah, fiction, yeah, right? yeah, it's a fictitious story, but it's so it's so real, yeah. right? It's a is a current, is is a never ending situation. Recently, in the newspapers, you hear other stories about um love triangles, tabanka for the, and for those of you all that don't know, what's a tabanka? How do you define a tabanka to a tourist or a foreigner? Well, it's a relationship where, um, either both parties or one party is being unfaithful. Right and the the emotional stress that one will go through, right, with with dealing with the whole unfaithful in the infidelity, you know. So because Tabanka is this leave your mash up, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So hey Joe, look, look Joe lock on man. Hey Melissa, you locked on. Alia, Melissa, all right, darling. All right, bro. So I don't know. Now it's probably a good time to to start the show. You can read the story to Banka. It's not a long story. It's about a page and a half. And uh, what we try to do is this, this should be real fun. I, I think it will be a lot of fun. We try to make this as interactive as possible. So it's not just a live show focusing on us. We try to bring things in to make it an interactive story, and hopefully it come out the the, the way we intended it. So that's yeah, because, because Linda, as, as did you mention it earlier on in the video that time? Um, you know, it, it first you started to post these videos, right, based on a competition that you're in currently, right? But it has evolved now. Yeah. Into we we want to actually have this this storytelling time, you know. So I feel privileged today that um actually one of a story that was written by me is is being focused today. I think Brandon, my son. How, yep. old, how old he would have been at the time when we ran out about eight years old when he was Yeah, he was him. about eight years old and, so and we could get him on Yeah, the maybe one day we could get Brandon but he's on the show. Alright, so look at uh, Tabby. That's right. a that scene there Tabby. where we have with Tabby. So you tell me, brother, when you're ready to begin this. Story. Yeah, well we, we could start about now, man. Alright, cool. Right? Tabby's frown pleated his forehead. His lips form a small smile as he felt the cutlass's edge with his thumb. Its razor sharpness brought him great satisfaction. He placed the file away and concealed the weapon in another location. Through a crack in the pitch pine board, he watched his wife as she texted someone whom he felt sure was her lover. He cursed himself, hating the insecure person he had rapidly become. Imagine I spying on my wife, he muttered, stepping back from the musty board. Countless times for the past month or so, he confronted her with his suspicion. 
It was only until now that he had come to the realization that his precious, loving wife was nothing but a big liar. He cursed that technology as he heard the symphonic ring of a phone. Even a poor man could afford this new age device that had become dog cheap. A device that was instrumental in deteriorating his relationship with his love. He walked over to the latrin, which stood alone, tall overgrown grass brushing against its galvanized walls. His magnificent yard now resembled the many surrounding homes. Hmm. That's, something that, that's something that has really happened. Right? Yeah, because, you know, the man used to have his, his yard well taken care of. You know, this would have been one of the yards where they would take, like, old tires, paint them up nice and white, yeah. have plants in it. Yeah, the sea pep look, mm -hmm. right? So that, that, that's to bring folks up to speed. We're doing this story here called Tabby, a guy with Tabanka, Lasana Batiste wrote it, and we're going to continue. Timmy Ramdas, hi. Yeah. And Sarita, hi Sarita. <laughs> Don't want to know if I get in, Horn. Horn is, is the term when your wife or husband being unfaithful, right? Depressed at this thought, he sat on the wooden seat, pondering his life achievements. A home, a refrigerator, a television, and a bed. His old BMX bike leaned against a shed that adjoined the house. A water tank collected the rain. He shook his head. It used to seem like so much. Now he saw his true poverty. A wagon Sally poked her head through the half open door. He patted her and softly whispered, Good girl, you are good girl. Tears broke out and he stifled his painful moans. That afternoon, Tabby called for a drink of white rum as he pulled a wooden stool closer to the bar counter. After diluting the drink with cold water, he quickly gulped it down. He shook his head, disgusted by its taste. His drink was beer by choice, but it took too long to drown his worries. So he moved up the ladder for a stronger drink. A drink that will numb his tired mind. He ordered another half and moved away from the cheerful drinkers to a table that stood alone in a dark corner. Fixing himself another drink, Tabby lit up a cigarette. He thought about her. How could she do this to me, boy? He whispered. She shows me no respect. Imagine leaving the house, offering no explanation, he thought. I don't even know if she's gone by a friend or if she's gone to a party. If I ask her where she went, she telling me I... If I ask her, she telling me when I go to drink, she don't ask me where I was. But at least she know where I is. Tabby stoops and took a sip of rum. The alcohol eases brains. He placed his index finger into a pool of water surrounding the bowl of ice. He dragged the finger aimlessly, leaving trails of lines and circles. His hurt was deep. His thoughts were overwhelming. He knew that he should just let her go, but he couldn't. He knew that the man she was involved with was not responsible, yet he blamed him. He wanted revenge, but on whom? The man was getting from his wife. Why shouldn't he take? No. He have to dead for that boy. Rum interjected. That man all over your wife. Boy, kill he. Drink. And we go fix your tail with that sharp no ass cutlass you have back home. Oh, Night had fallen and Tabby sat on the bike saddle. He pedaled quickly, hoping that momentum would prevent him from falling. I have to get my cutlass boy. He is a dead man tonight. Then I go see about she. Then I go see about me. He felt crazy. Blasted lights. Tabby curse. Swinging around a corner. A corner that he took too wide. So we have Tabby coming around the corner here. Oh God. Oh God, like Tabby dead. Oh, the end of Tabby right there, no? Tabby lay on the ground. It felt like warm beat sand. The sky was too white. Faint songs surrounded him. 
people were there, but he couldn't see. Somebody, call an ambulance, a man shouted. Tabby never heard the yell. That is Tabby boy, oh Guam, somebody, call your wife. A dog licked Tabby as it passed his mangled body. And although no one knew, he smiled, feeling the comfort of the warm tongue. Tabby's eyes closed as his breath, as his last breath, escaped his now peaceful body. Tabby! <laughs> Thank you very much, brother. Oh, well, gosh. Hey, you know, is I mean, I would not probably read this. I haven't read the story for a long time. But when you think about you writing the story and then being able to engage with it as a reader, and you, you know, you're seeing the decline of this man, a man who don't care about the settings, yeah. the rum shop, the drinking. I mean, it's, it's, it's real tragic to think about people that... I mean, you, you, you could write something like this and it, it, it's, well, it's something to, to make somebody laugh or cry, but it's a real tragic situation. Yes, that, that yes. People in. It is. Listen. I think um, one of the things... <laughs> Let's say poor Tabby. Yeah, poor Tabby. Poor Tabby. Hey, Rene, what's up? Nice to yeah. see you. We know a story called Tabanka. A guy called Tabby who got yeah, dread dose at the bank and was trying to deal with it. You were talking about something earlier with people, um, you know, choosing their own private means to try to address situations yeah. like this. Um, what I what I personally think about this character called Tabby, right, is that um, he really didn't have anyone to turn to, right, and. Obviously, well, he, he was turning to the bottle rather than, you know, maybe to a friend or his mother or his father, you know, and it, 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 it led to him doing something disastrous. Well, actually, he didn't get to execute his plan. And maybe, thank the Lord, Tabby died on the bicycle, right? Because it might have been three people dead instead, right? But I think one of the problems in society is that people don't really have anybody that they want to turn to, right? For instance, you let's say one is going through a situation where um, their husband or their wife being unfaithful to them, right? It's a kind of embarrassing thing. It's an embarrassing topic, first of all, to, to bring up, right? And the next thing here is be contemplating is that, hey, you know, let's say I go and I talk to my father and tell him, well, dad, you know, um, my wife is being unfaithful to me. You always have the fear that, hey, if you and your wife should make back up, no, your secret is out. Yeah. The infidelity is, is, is outside there. Somebody knows about it. So instead, people tend to keep it to themselves and just hope that the matter will resolve and nobody will ever find out nobody watching their wife or their husband in a particular way. I don't know what is your take on that. Why is this is a real... Rion, what do you think about it? <laughs> you have any special thoughts you want to share with people? I mean, but really, <laughs> what is <laughs> what what is the right thing, folks? You want to remind you all that this this story that I was read is fiction, um, so it's in the interest of entertainment. But we on a we on a real serious topic, which is I guess what writers have to do, and and I go back to what you say how how easy it is to really talk to people about these things. Yeah, and um, is <laughs> this 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 whole topic could go so many ways that we might end up having Jason, a, Sammy, a what's up? Let, let me hear out some people here. We have Jeffrey, uh, Miss Karamat, Jason, Sammy, Jason, Sammy. That's the guy where I went and did the reading. He's with the Sammy's um crash course. So okay. thanks, thanks for joining, then, bro. Yeah, man, thanks for coming. You, to just, house, you just missed a story um called Tabby, which is from Boy Days. We want to remind you all that you could go and vote for men and misfits. Voting qualifies you to win an autographed copy of Boy Days and Men and Misfits. Sorry, not voting. Sorry, my bad. Sharing this post qualifies you to win a copy of Men and Misfits. So you could you could share this and we'll re announce the winner on June the 2nd. You can still vote too. You can still vote. And we have excerpts, you know, on, on the website. I'll put it up on the screen. On the website podbake.com, you could find excerpts from the book. You could find it in a PDF file that is easy to print and um, and share. 
one of the things that I wanted to show folks, we're going to share a blooper with you all while we were making the video. <laughs> and this blooper is, is one of the most hilarious things here. Uh, let me pull it up on screen here. Take a look at this, folks. This is Tabby after, before and after he has died. Oh God, Tabby, dead boy! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you! Yeah, so that is, that is that's, that's nothing very helpful. Could we, could, could we actually see the um, one where Tabby died? That, oh, yeah, wanna run back now? Yeah, yeah, run, run that back now. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, God! So that's 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 Make it to be an excellent footballer. He's a, a master diver. Oh, God! Yeah, so, um, in, in closing, one of the things that we shared earlier, if I can just pull it up on screen here, is that we want to have uh, questions and answers with. It could be about podbig.com, which has done book publishing since 2008. So if you have any questions, you can feel free to leave them in the comment section. That that will be really helpful well, um, so that we can do a live video based on that as well. But then, let me ask you something, right? Because one of, one of my friends in work does a bit of writing, right? How easy it is really for someone like um, they're gathering up their stories and so on, right? What... To bring something to like a completed um, book state like this, what does it take for somebody that has a compilation of stories home? Would they have to, for instance, type out the stories and then give you like a flash drive? What, what the whole production of our book is like? Okay, the uh, something I'll, I'll cover first in terms of typing out these stories. One of, one of the most important parts of the process for me is this idea of editing her. Uh, editing your story. You know, something that you, you wrote in three days, it might be excellent, but you still have to take that pain and go through it time and time again because you don't want to be putting products in front of people that a man could struggle with or, or you know, think either the, the grammar is in poor taste. Whatever the case might be, you want to be sure that the, the product you have is something that would be put in, in front of people. And not just your mommy, your daddy, your brother, your sister. The wider... Uh, because people will probably only give you one shot at it, sir. Eh? Okay, so what you're saying is that if someone is to come to you, right? All right, Alia. Uh, I like it. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, if someone is to, if somebody is to, to come to you, right? You're saying that they, they must come with the edited version, so you don't handle the editing? Yeah, I could, we can handle the editing. I haven't done any projects like that in a long time. Eh? The last time I do a project like that was really suit up for it's a journal and Tobago. Right. And, um... That, edit, that editing journey is not one that I have, honestly, the time to take up right now. I haven't done publishing for right. anyone for a while. But assuming that, hey, you, these, okay, when I did 90 Days of Violence, we handled that from the writing, the editing, and going to a printer to right. get it printed. So you have options where you can do the traditional form of publishing, or you can do the self-publishing. Okay. Which is where you as the writer start in the expense for everything that you do. Okay. The good news is people think that you need fantastic programs to, to format. The truth is you could do a lot of your work in Microsoft Word. That's that is no big secret. It's about taking the time to get the format in. You go on Google, you, you Google how to format something in, in this book form. You don't need any expensive programs to get that done. Okay, okay. Yeah, really good. I, I will give him a plug right now because he did uh, the first four books. There's a company called Graphic Scripts Printing and Keen Farm. Uh, uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Ali? Mr. Ali? No, Mr. Mohammed. Mr. Mohammed. Mr. Mohammed runs that. He's definitely one of the people that you, you want to talk to in terms. If you're going that route, though, you have to print a number of books to get a good price. Okay. 500, 1,000 copies online. And you know a writer could get a book out there and not spend any money right now. You could go on on Amazon, create um, a, a Kindle account. Okay. The same Amazon account, you log in and you upload it. You so like this person, if it, could I pass on your number so that he could always contact you and you'll point him in, in the correct direction? One of the things I try to do through podmake.com is always be talking to um, writers that are trying to get their work out there. That's okay. the reason that I had the competitions and everything. Right. To get the work out there so that, you know, 
because everybody in 2008 I was looking for a shot. Okay. And I had to, I had to do it myself with a small team of people close to me, you, Daddy, Kimberly, right. others that, Mommy, I might be calling everybody, mm. don't hold it against me. But yeah, I, I don't think there's any need for writers to have to be reinventing that wheel every time. Right, right. We have writers, don't we? we have publishers that they could be talking to and people that could be... The most important thing is sharing and passing that knowledge out of. You working on anything right now? Nah, I'm not working on anything right now. Okay. So, so folks, remember the um, questions and answers. The question and answers. Questions and answers. Again, Tom Tai, but it's a topic plenty. Nah, nah, you, you could use this at there? We can use it. Yeah, man. <laughs> what are we doing there? Are we logging out there? Well, we just want to remind people that they could go and vote and get instructions on podbeak.com. Thanks for all the support, folks. You all have been logging on, posting questions. I see I'm behind the house. I'll hear with the kryptonite questions. I'll address all these things. Thanks very much for stopping by. This went a little longer than expected, so we appreciate it. Later. Tabby. Tabby. <laughs> Let me show the Tabby one more time. Real sharpening that bleeding through, boy. Yes, sir. He's smiling. <laughs>